Okay, don't mind the mess. These are the lights. They're at 75% brightness right now. <clears throat> Inside there you can see the hole in between each shelf and the wire pretty much stays out of the way. Um, the side is the switch. does this whole shelf for the second shelf here I have a different switch same idea though can't see any of that when you're sitting above obviously Okay, these are the channels. I cut them. They go like this in between the shelves. Now you have to cut space in there so you can, from the rear, you can put the LED lighting in there, tape it down so they would go in like that with the cuts on either side towards the back and cut two holes in there small enough for a screw flat head screw to not go all the way through you know top of the screw needs to be wider than the hole of course to hold it up but once it's in there it looks real nice I think And these are the covers that go over. They lock in place. And you gotta kinda squeeze them in there, but they go in. Not very good one-handed, but they go in. There we go. And you'll be putting that in you know, after it's already in there. And they stay. You know, as you can see, they're not popping out like this. They work. You can get different colors, milky white. These are clear ones. I came with one of the other ones. With some, like you can buy them together with the aluminum channel and the uh, covers. And you can get different colors. Like, not colors, but you can get different um, diffusion levels. This is Milky White. That's what I have on there now. I was hoping it would distribute the light more, but it didn't. But it still looks fine, I think. And crystal clear just you know just shows light through even more but really if you, even if you get a darker one it, I don't think it would matter much because as you can see it really you know you can see the spines really really good and if I was able here I'll turn it off and show you the difference so that's dark and light so Now, the wiring is going through the hole, but on the sides, it had to go through the, around the back. So through the back here, and then around, and then down to the next shelf. Actually, 
Did it? Yeah, here. You can see it here. Well, maybe you can't. There, you can kind of see it. Anyway, it goes back. And I just use clips to keep it up there. But it really doesn't affect, you know, you have enough room where it doesn't, you know, even get in the way of the records at all. But, you know, you run it back, then you run it down, and then you bring it in under the next shelf, and then you go straight across. And then you go back, down and around, straight across. And then it just ends here. There's just nothing here, it just ends. <clears throat> okay, here's the tricky part. You gotta buy these wires at these ends. I'm not gonna be able to do this one handed, but this thing pops up. but this end these go in here and you slide them in you slide them into here and then you can close it and it clamps it and that's basically what I have in between here so that's how I connect it and I was trying to make these short at first but you can use the whole thing because you can you know Put the wire up here and then buy little clips that will hold it, you know, and keep it to the top. So you don't need to cut these too much. Makes it easier too, because when you're putting the wire through here and you strip these ends, <clears throat> you have to twist tie with your fingers the connectivity between this one and the piece of wire that goes on the other side. So these are going to connect, but they're going to be twisted. You know, you're going to take it up, cut it and take them apart and then strip each side and match the colors. And then you're going to use heat. These uh, heat strips. heat strips, heat shrinks, to uh, put over the bare wire that you twist tie together. So it's really a pain in the ass, but once you get it done, I mean, I really do like how it looks. And, you know, you can have a, a really, really dark room or even just dim room to listen to records in and you know be able to flip on your lights either just to pick out a record or look at the sleep the uh spines um or you can leave them on and they can change colors and stuff like that so it's kind of cool now if you start to get like only one color or some you know where all the colors don't uh display that's usually because you didn't connect one of the four or one of the three colored wires. Like really, the black I guess is the ground and then each each one of these, green, red, and blue, are, are the colors um, that make up the different colors that can, you know, that can be made, pretty much all the different colors, that can be made, you know, via the app. Um, And yeah, so if you don't have them tight enough, you know, in between, or you've missed a wire or whatever, or it's not good, a good connection, it could flash a little bit or, um, or just only show some of the colors or not all of them or just one of the colors. So you gotta be really careful when you put those together, but that's what these do. They cover up that bare wire and they do a really good job once they're 
you know, trunk and over that bare wire. Um, it's pretty, pretty stable, pretty sturdy, and you're never really going to touch it again, you know, once it's in there. You know, you can take a record in and out, really isn't a problem. You still have a lot of headroom up here, you know, even though you are taking up a little bit of the space, you know, that you would normally would have. That's pretty much it. You know, there's a lot more to it than that, obviously, but it should give you an idea of how I did it. And I still got to do these. I want to buy more for these shelves. <clears throat> um, this is a 16 foot that you need for the LED. Um, but you're probably going to need more than that just for a 4x4, you know, for mistakes and for um, when you get these soldered parts. Like, you can't cut that and then slide it into the things that didn't work. So you pretty much have to cut around or have these in the middle of your three. So, like, this one wouldn't work because I, I could cut the end off this one then I'd have one two three with this piece in the middle but you need these copper ends for each end over here that's it um, yeah use just a saw to cut these <laughs> down to size some of them, as you can see, I didn't get exactly right, but I could always do it over. But really, you know, I can just do better on the next ones, I think. <coughs> like here, this one's good. This one's good. You know, majority of them are good. But some of them, you know, I cut a little too short.